happy boils and ghouls! Welcome back to another exciting adventure with your favorite YouTubers, Destination Stone. I'm Stevie. And I'm Dwayne. And today is day two of Legion's Con. Super stoked. Today we get Waltor the oh. Mad, you guys. Yeah. The awesome double pack that's cosmic and mythic. Yeah, I'm cool. so excited for this. They're doing some custom painting classes that Dwayne wants to attend. So we'll attempt to go in there and show you guys some of that. So come on, you guys. Let's go have a mythic second day of Legion's Con. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, guys. So uh, first things first, let's go ahead and get our exclusives. Yeah. Hands. So these are the day two exclusives. Uh, it's actually one person made into two different things. Uh, if you know anything about Mythic Legions, you know about the Mythic Legion Cabal. And Walter Hagen is the man who uh, invented that. And they made him not one but two freaking ex uh, uh, tribute figures. And <laughs> awesome. So Walter awesome. Walter the Mad. Yeah, it's so amazing, you guys. Look it's at the not bag. mad at all. That's amazing. That's so good. I'm so excited for this figure. Um, these figures, so great, so great. <laughs> I love you guys. Every one of you guys we have so many posters, so that's going on the ceiling. That's amazing. I'm so excited about that. We're gonna join the class. Is this the line for the class? <laughs> So, my name is Jeremy Gerard. I'm David Williams. We are both uh, customizers, Mythic Legions fans. Uh, we're going to bring you through some of the basics here. So, there are some really simple paint techniques that you can use with these parts to really bring out some details and absolutely change the look of a figure. Right, David? Absolutely. So, these 3D printed parts, these are made out of resin. Okay, there's a number of different providers that print these things. The ones that you have in front of you were donated by Wolf King Customs and by Legion Shop. We've got some tables out there for both of them. You can see some of their parts. These particular pieces are all spray painted black. The reason that I did that is just so I have this nice base coat to paint over. What do you do when you start doing? How do you start when you work on 3D parts? I also start with a black or a dark piece. Like with something like the Builders, you don't necessarily have to paint it because all the shading will come out underneath because of the dark plastic. Yeah, these are great. You can paint right over these. I hear a lot of people ask, do I have to prime these before I start painting? Not necessarily. On Legion's figures, you can just paint right on top of them. The one thing that I do when I do like unpainted 3D printed pieces, so do you mind if I take this piece for a second? So like this piece here that she brought in, you can see this is just resin, right? This is that gray colored resin. There are different colored resins. You could paint right on top of this, but like for the techniques that we're gonna do today, it wouldn't really work on an unpainted piece like that. Because what we're gonna do, that dry brushing, having that dark base color is really, really helpful. Take my brush, I dip it in the paint there. So see how I've got a bunch of paint on that? Now I'm literally rubbing it off. Okay, there's very, very little paint. Look at what happens when I paint this. See how, see how just like the surface is starting to get some paint? Like look at that, look at the, the way it is. It's not just like a glob of paint that's on it. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Pulling most of it off kind of red. Right. And see how that's really not painted right there? Just by touching with that little bit of paint. See how those details start to come out? Yep. Oh, I did too much there. Okay, that's too much of a, a spot. Okay, that's all I'll do. I'll just do that. Here's a trick. Here's a trick, everybody. When you start with painting projects, starting with things that are meant to be dirty and uneven, it's super forgiving. When you first start painting, 
don't start with a human-like face. It's super hard to do, right? If you need to do eyes, it's brutally hard. The next session is going to be about those advanced topics. Set yourself up for success. Do something like I've given you this armored head here because it's super forgiving. If you want to make, like if you took this head and you threw it on like this body, it would be very, very forgiving as you try to paint these really dirty style effects. Does that make sense? Now, another thing you can do is secondary colors. So normally I would be blow drying this or something so it dries. If you want this to dry really, really fast, using a blow dryer will help. But watch what happens when I start hitting this with a second color coat of paint. So I start adding a little bit of brown to it. You get enough paint on it. So I just added a little bit of second paint there and see how we're starting to get like multiple tones. Yeah. And it starts to bring that stuff out. Literally what I am doing here is the definition of easy. Okay. go back and you could paint those buckets actually you know a little, a little finer detail so it doesn't so it looks like the actual buckles if they have has anyone ever heard me talk about start with dots okay that's like a real popular thing that people who get started with this talk about and the idea behind it is when you get a legion builder right if you look there are parts of these legion builders that have like rivets or something. On Legion Builders, they're not painted. Paint them. What? Paint those Legion Builders. Do you have a part there? Yeah. Paint those little those little pieces. Um, the rivets, the buckles. Just doing something like that with a Legion Builder absolutely transforms it. The brushes you are using are very inexpensive uh, Michaels craft brushes. Okay, dry brushing, these are absolutely fine because dry brushing is brutal on brushes. It absolutely wears them out so, so quickly. Um, Target sells a brand of makeup brushes called, called Elf yeah. brushes. Yeah, I use them. I use them for dry brushing. <laughs> they're, they're $2 a piece and they have the perfect type of bristles and they come in a flat round and they come in a flat straight. So if you're just trying to dry brush in small areas, they work wonderfully. And again, they're two bucks, they're disposable. They go, you know, again, dry brushing is really heavy on brushes. So unless you're gonna rinse them out every day with your makeup remover. Yeah. Yeah, so I try to do every part of, like if I'm, using, if I'm painting, I try to do every part that needs that color, right. let it dry, and then do the next color. Right. Think about it in layers. So my background is actually as a graphic designer, so I use Adobe Photoshop all the time. And Adobe Photoshop works with what's called layers, okay? Think about it like a collage when you're layering stuff on each other. You're layering one piece on another. The top, the, the piece you put last is what you see most. That's how I think about paint. The underlying colors, I'm gonna paint on top of them. This started at 1230, we go to 120, okay. Is there a particular size brush that you always choose for dry brushing? Testers, so this testers company, they have a, a three pack that are three different brushes, a size 10, eight, and two, I think. Um, I tend to use these. For me, I like dry brushing with nice flat brushes, okay? It's silver on silver, so it's not gonna bring that out super, super much. But if I used a different color, to say that I did a little bit of gold metallic, okay? If I use that and I dab that gold on there, see how that just brings out those details? You made it look so easy. 
<laughs> it's experience. Okay. So we got nope, that's actually yeah. that's actually mythic lead. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, man. Which one do you have? I got tibias. It's awesome. Neat. It's awesome. Very awesome. That was cool. So we're gonna go check out Wolfie's. Good Press stuff, cheese. <laughs> yeah. um, so I bought some stuff from Wolf King and uh, we got a free light up hoodie. This right here is light. <gasps> You're like Chris Jericho this now. This is awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate you, brother. We have to go try that on and yeah. make sure it works. Yeah. At night. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I killed him. Oh my god. Yeah, I Wayne's gonna get him a just show the t shirt. I'm gonna show in detail a little bit more. Just show this display here. Jess, my mom said if you want some custom, so he's got going on. No, thank you. All right. He's got names, I see him. Backstory. I don't like what he's doing. Magic card's fine, but it's Nicole. Like, look, oh, there he is. See him? I was like, I don't think so. So cool, man. There's two dwarves down here, the dwarf twins. Oh, whoa. I didn't see him back there. This guy, he's awesome. Cosmic heads. Another drop in the car. <laughs> All right, guys. So uh, we're gonna head back inside, and we're gonna finish up Legion's Con 2023 with a little montage of some awesome customs. Let's check it out. Guys, that was day two of Legion's Con 2023. 
Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did. It was very cool to so uh, crazy. see everybody and to uh, get some pictures and stuff. And that was really cool to check out that customizing class with David Williams and Jeremy Gerard. Dwayne, he picked up some new skills, so he might be taking your job soon. <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, thank you guys for having that. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, teaching us a little something. That was cool. So guys, even though it was day two, Dwayne still managed to spend some money. <laughs> Yeah, y'all know me. Um, <laughs> so uh, let's check out what I spent it on. So actually, first up uh, are some little freebies that he got at the painting class. Yeah, so of course y'all seen where I painted that helmet right here. There we go. I painted it up and uh, kind of put some rust on it and stuff. I think I did an alright job. Pretty cool. That was very awesome. So I got this helmet for free. And then uh, he also told us to go pick a head and some paint from the little basket. And I picked this up. I picked up this uh, this orc helmet, this helmeted head. I thought it was really cool. I've actually looked at this on uh, Wolf, King's, Wolf King Customs before and almost bought it. So yeah, very cool. Now I can customize it. He, took, he told us to pick a paint. So I got a Vallejo Gunmetal Gray just to, uh, yeah, you can never have too much metal color when you're doing armored figures so yeah very cool good color to have in stock so now that head he just painted is for sale for $50 if anybody <laughs> would like one not at all Kidding. so uh first i want to show you guys the stuff that i bought from wolf king customs i picked up this head right here this head sculpt i've been wanting this head sculpt for a while now um it also has like a bear head that comes with it too but um he didn't have that there but i definitely wanted to pick up this head sculpt. I think it's really cool and y'all, you know, bearded, long-haired guy. The other head sculpt I bought from him was a female goblin. Um, I've been looking at this for a while and now we can make Stevie a goblin girl. Yeah! Very cool. Pumpkin carving goblin She's girl. She's awesome. I love this, this uh, head sculpt. Next up, uh, these pauldrons right here. He actually uh, gave me these because he said they were a, a prototype and he's like, I just wanted to make something real basic and stuff. So there's a set, of course I got two of them. Um, but yeah, I love these. This is something I've been looking for for a while as well. So yeah, Lynn hooked me up. These are awesome, I can't wait to paint these. And then last but certainly not least, this uh, cabal shield and the sword he had them grouped together. Very awesome. I knew I wanted this shield whenever I seen him posting it, and uh, yeah, I had to get one. He had some that were gray, and this one was green, so I don't know if there was like a limited run of the green ones or whatever, but yeah, maybe it was just I the plastic like the he used. Green. Very cool. Um, I definitely knew I was going to get one of these, so yeah, awesome. Dwayne also picked up some apparel from Wolf King Customs. Y'all know me in t-shirts, and I have a weird uh, addiction <laughs> This to one's cool! This is amazing, you guys. <laughs> This t-shirt is so 90s. I love it. This is amazing. And um, the back is, is is all printed up too. It's just, yeah, all striped up and stuff. I love this. Lynn, this is amazing. Thank you so much for this. Can yeah. I get some leggings that have this on there? But yeah, that's so awesome. Uh, definitely happy to get me a Wolf King shirt finally. We need Lady Legion leggings. Ooh. So next up is this amazing zip-up hoodie, you guys. So it's really cool. It's got that on the front. It's got the logo on the back. But wait, there's, there's more. more. Make it a little bit dark in here, and boom! Look at that around the hood. He's and Chris Jericho. It lights up, but not only does it light up, hang on, it also flashes like that, and it strobes. This hoodie is amazing, you guys. It's for fist this is one of my favorite things that I've got from Legion's Con. Lynn, you're amazing, dude. Keep keep it up, dude. This is awesome. Go get your light up shirts now from Wolf King Customs. Yeah, go get you a light up hoodie because this is amazing. Okay, so now can we get lighted lady Legion leggings? <laughs> Come on, I'm a genius here. So next up, um, we hit up my buddy Jesse just shelved his table, and uh, you know I had to buy something from Jesse. So, uh, since I got that Shadow Elf yesterday, I decided to get this Jarlaxle head. So freaking awesome, you guys. If you guys read Dritstu Erden, like, you know, uh, those stories and stuff, y'all know who this character is. Uh, yeah, I definitely had to grab that for my Shadow Elf warrior. So freaking cool. 
He also had these pauldrons for sale for 15 bucks, you guys, for painted up pauldrons. He painted these. And they were only $15. Thought that was really cool. Uh, definitely wanted to pick up those. Very, very cool. And of course, Dwayne also picked up some apparel from Just Show. Yeah, um, my dude Jesse had a shirt, so I had to get it. This bunny. This is bunny. awesome. I love this logo. And I finally got some stickers from, from him, so that's awesome. But yeah, y'all, check out Just Shelve It. Um, he's got a YouTube channel, and him and Curtis, they do a uh, podcast every Sunday where sometimes I have guests on there. And guess what? Yours truly might be on there again sometime soon. We've been on there before. Yeah, we might be on there again. So. We'll link his information for his channel in the description below, so yeah. go check him out. Y'all check out Jesse and Curtis. They're great. And uh, the last table that we went and bought a custom from was Dr. Grimm Customs. Uh, he was actually at intern with us. Yeah. And we sat there and talked to him for a minute. And I seen a head on his table that I thought was amazing. So spooky. Look how good that is, you guys. That's so good. That is so good. Like, wow. yeah, I wanted that. So, yeah, whenever that zombie comes out next year, this is going on that for sure. <laughs> Very good. Uh, yeah, y'all check out Dr. Grimm Customs. Eugene's a great guy. It was really cool to talk to him. So next up, we hit up the Cabal table again. You sons of mothers. And uh, I've been tagged. I've been tagged. They hooked Stevie up with a pen, you guys. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, it was really cool to talk to Will. And uh, yeah, thank you again for hooking her up with that. That's really cool. Um, I got him to hold me a cabal patch. Yeah, that's Very cool. Awesome. It's got Velcro on the back, and I guess that's like the thing now, Velcro patches. So I sew mine on. Yeah, but that's really freaking awesome. I love that. And uh, he also threw in a sticker pack, a bunch of stickers, hooked us up. Yeah, very, very cool. Or sticker hose. Yeah. And another thing that Dwayne got from that customing class from David Williams, this really cool print. Yeah, he was giving out prints and stuff, and I thought that was awesome. So I picked up Tibia's. Uh, I think that's an amazing picture. Uh, that art is so great. So yeah, had to grab one. Very cool. So if you know us pretty well, we are poster hoarders. Um, and we have a prop. We have a problem, you guys. But I thought, maybe we could just stick it on the ceiling. So then it ended up in the car. Ten dollars, you guys. This is a flag. A vinyl flag. That's amazing. That I matches your shirt. That. Yeah, that is awesome. That's so freaking cool. For ten bucks? Yeah, I was getting that. That's Very awesome. Sweet. Oh my god. So, as many of you know, um, the Cabal was made by one person. Walter Hagen, he's the one that started all this, and so uh, to honor him this weekend, he got his own tribute figure. Yeah. And y'all know, I had to pick it up. Yeah. Very this was Sunday's exclusive. Actually, he got two <laughs> figures, Cosmic and Mythic. This is the first crossover they've ever done. I know Cosmic's new, but this is amazing, you guys. These figures are so good. Like, I've been sitting here looking at them. And like, man, they're so good. Um, the back, look at that Nate Barsh art. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it, you guys. The best part is this. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Legion Con exclusive part is the, the shirt. And check out the little side. You got the, the Cosmic Cabal and the Mythic Cabal. That's so cool. So awesome. Uh, Walter, congratulations again. You know, I'm sure you heard it all weekend, constantly, over and over again. But you're going to hear it one more time from us. Congratulations. congratulations. We love you, brother. It was really good to see you again. And I can't wait to see you again. Again. Soon. And as we were heading out, Dwayne, as you saw, turned around and grabbed another one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Fuckers. I went and got another But no worries. Now he has two t-shirts. Yep. Very cool. So guys, that's going to wrap up Destination Stone's Mythic Weekend. Yeah. We hope you guys enjoyed it. I know we did. Um, it was amazing. I cannot wait for Legion's Con next year. And be sure to stay tuned to check out all the other Jersey adventures we had when we were here. We had quite a few. It was a pretty crazy time. Some of them were very crunchy. <laughs> so guys, if you enjoyed this Mythic Weekend, give it a big ol' thumbs up. And if you're new here and you have not yet, be sure to subscribe so you can join us on all of our mythic adventures. There's many. There's many.
And if you are having a stellar time with us and you would like to further support the channel so that we can continue to grow, check out our shops that are linked in the description below. Get you some DS merch and also check out my thrift Macari shop. It's That's pretty right. cool. You can also help us out by clicking that join button right below the video. Become a member and put yourself on our shelf. That's right. So guys, as always, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to watch a little bit of our lives. And until next time, boys and ghouls. Onward and upward. <laughs> but it's even more plausible. He thought he touched Joe. That's right. He thought Joe was you. Might have been so Maybe he touched me and thought, and thought it was Joe and it was me. Also. I always find wrestling no matter where I go. If that did happen, it would have been very true. Woman wings.